right, we all know Michigan has a lot of beautiful lakes, and we all like to head to the water, especially when it gets warm. But people near one local lake say a big bully is chasing them away. Problem solver Rob Walchek goes fishing for the grouch by the lake and reels him into the hall of shame. Monica and Murray, this has been going on for years, and this guy has a little clout in the community, so some of his neighbors are afraid to make waves. But I'm not. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Meet Ed. Ed is a big shot who owns a house on the lake. How about doing yourself a favor and getting off my property? Ed likes to chase away people who aren't big shots and don't own a house on the lake. You know, backlot owners are not allowed to go to the lake. That kind of attitude, you know? The problem is, the place Ed is chasing people away from isn't his property. It's the lake's public access property next door. Ed is a big fish in a little pond. Well, I've been on council since 1984. Yeah, I'm an up and up guy. And it just so happens, I'm going fishing. <laughs> Welcome to Wolverine Lake, a village tucked right between Novi and Milford. Lots of people have lakefront homes. Others in the community can access the lake from areas called public road ends. All the road ends look like this, inviting with soft, sandy shores. All of them, except this one, the one located next to Councilman Ed Sinkowitz's lakefront home. He'll go down and tell him it's private property, it's not public access. He's told people to leave. Cassie lives a few houses down from the lake. She says Ed has been keeping her and her neighbors out of the water using intimidation and dirty tricks. His latest, a barrier of cattails. This has gone on for years, and he'll create another obstacle after another to make sure people don't go down there. I don't trust him to begin with. Pete's been feuding with Ed Sinkowitz for 30 years. He says Ed's parked his work trucks to block him off the lake, planted trees, placed rocks in the water. Although Ed's antics have raised some eyebrows with the council, Mr. Councilman always seems to come out on top. I don't talk to him. You don't talk I to have him? no interest on a man at all. So what would happen if somebody came up with a rowboat? Would he get all mad? I personally, I think yes, he probably would. Well, let's find out. I sent two 16-year-old boys out to the lake access point next to Ed Sinkowitz's home. The kids try to launch a kayak through the dense reeds and rocks on the shore. It's sure not easy, but they eventually make it. By the time they get back, Ed's waiting. That's not your property. Along the side, that's not our property. That where you're sitting is not your property either. This is public access. Pardon me? This is public access. No, it's a road easement. Ed tells the kids he's not going to report them, but they damaged the cattail barrier. Sorry about that. No, it's just that there's a reason that's there. That that was actually planted there. Ed has succeeded once again in scaring off his neighbors. No one goes down to the lake for weeks until me, my producer and cameraman, decide to do a little fishing. Unfortunately, this is a road easement, and they don't allow fishing down here. They don't allow fishing on public. Uh... No, it's a road easement. It's not a public. It's not a. It's not a outlet. It's not a subdivision outlet. You're taking a chance walking out there and stuff. No. Oh. There's a lot of stones in there because they put that in there. So when the water comes down here, it kind of gets. Yeah. So this isn't a public road end. It is a road easement. I just sit and listen, wearing my fishing disguise, as Ed fills my producer in on the cattails barrier. This was put in here intentionally to, to kind of keep the crap from coming in. Hmm, I wonder what he means by crap. Us? His neighbors? Didn't they pass a law a couple of years ago about opening up the, no, the law, public road? The law, the law is, trust me, because I'm part of the, the, uh, the village over here. Ooh, that's right, Mr. Big Time Councilman. But he won't report us if we go away. I'm not going to make a complaint. I'm not going to make a stink. All I want to do is tell you, like I told the, the last guys that the last guys that came down and took a boat and ran it right through all that, and knocked down all that, all that growth there that they've been trying to put up. Who, who's who put the growth up? The village did. The village did. DNR. Well, that's news to me. And speaking of news, time for us to bring out our news camera. I'm Rob from Fox 2. You show me on this law here where it says we can't fish here. That's right. I got the law in my hand, and I think on my side. Did you plant all these reeds here? Nope. You didn't. Who nope. did? Mother Nature. Mother Nature did? Gosh, Ed, you just admitted a few minutes ago they were planted there. 
you didn't plant all those because the neighbor said you planted all that. Mm -hmm. Well, then can I go knock them down? I don't think you should. Why? Are they yours? Are they yours? Ed's going to try to talk his way out of this. The whole idea of that was was a buffer because... Wait a minute. The whole no, idea no, no, of it, I thought that no, they I thought Mother there. Nature grew At there. one time... You'd think as an elected official, Ed would hold himself to higher standards. Aren't you the, uh, like the township council guy? I'm one of the council members, yes. Yeah. Well, so you're trying to chase us off this property, and it's not your property, is it? It's a road easement. Mm-hmm. And if you did your homework, you would have found out that um, it went through the legislature mm -hmm. about what can be done and what can't be done with road easements. And what can be done. Doesn't say anything here about fishing. Look, here's my fishing light. Good. It's the first Just one you got. ever bought? Probably, Probably is. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't really give a damn one way or another, do you? Oh, I do give a damn. I give a damn about somebody who's using their power to bully a bunch of neighbors. The neighbors if, here if, care about this area. They want to take advantage of the lake. Huh? I live in this area. I might want to take advantage of the lake. Okay. I pay my taxes. It's a public lake. Yep. Ed goes back inside, but can't resist coming back out. How about doing yourself a favor and getting off my property? Then he calls the cops on us. All I was trying to explain to them is what really you called be, the cops, Ed. Could be done down this here. Poor officer has to sit here and listen to this. Well, you're We're gonna, on public you're property. You're telling me you're going to rip out the bushes and everything. I don't know what you're up to. You're a loose cannon, man. Oh, yeah, I'm crazy. Hi, officer. How are you? Hey, there's one truth. Here's another truth for you, Ed. You're in the Hall of Shame. Ed told the police we were trespassing. We told the officer we weren't, and Ed went storming off. The cop was very nice, and we went on our way. Ed denies parking his vehicles to block the road and or putting up any barriers, but that's not what his neighbors say, and I actually met with several others who didn't want to go on camera. How come? They're scared of Ed.